Welcome back. One final point before we go tonight. What the mainstream media was too afraid to tell you about the news this week. This is one of the things I love to do on this show. Show you what really happened. What actually happened. While the mainstream media obsessed about Melania Trump's shoes, this is what really happened. The top IT staffer to Debbie Wasserman Schultz, the man who was arrested by the FBI for financial crimes, he still has a secret email address that's active on the congressional computer network. Now, this man tried to flee to Pakistan with hundreds of thousands of taxpayer dollars. He had access to sensitive email accounts of high-ranking congressmen. Yet the Democrats refused to fire him even after they learned he was under FBI investigation. And now we learn this guy still has an active secret email address. But did the mainstream media tell you about that? Yeah, that's what I thought. Mainstream media, they ignored it. Antifa, the radical left-wing anarchist gang, ravaged the streets of Berkeley, brutally beating a man and his son, throwing rocks at police officers, and forcing their way through law enforcement barriers, all in an effort to stifle the free speech of conservatives. Think that's bad? Well, Democrats took a week to condemn the gang, and only did so half-heartedly. Funny how the mainstream media, who jumped down Trump's throat for not immediately denouncing Charlottesville violence, they didn't seem to notice the lack of response, the delay from Democrats. Sheriff Joe Arpaio was pardoned by President Trump. Boy, did we hear about that from the left this week. They went hysterical. But Sheriff Joe Arpaio was never convicted in a criminal court of racial profiling, ever. He was simply told to stop enforcing federal immigration laws, and he didn't stop. Yet the mainstream media didn't see fit to mention that part. In fact, they jumped on the Democratic bandwagon, hurling false accusations of racial profiling at the sheriff. False. Former DNC Chair Howard Dean said anybody who votes for Republicans in 2018 is a racist. One of the leaders of the Democratic Party called half of America racist. Yet the mainstream media doesn't care. Congressman Keith Ellison was caught on secret camera admitting that minority leader Nancy Pelosi does, in fact, support a single-payer health care system. Even though Pelosi publicly told us she did not support that. Funny how the mainstream media failed to report that. Democratic Congressman Bob Menendez in court facing felony charges of bribery and conspiracy. If he's convicted and if he's expelled from the Senate, Democrats could lose their critical one vote on Obamacare repeal. This is the biggest scandal to hit a sitting U.S. senator in I don't know how long, yet the mainstream media ignores it. Last but not least, CEOs who quit Trump's advisory council in a hoity-toity huff over Trump's response to Charlottesville are now doing business with guess who? the terror-funding, women-oppressing, gay-killing, Israel-hating nation of Iran. Huh. Guess these CEOs and their moral sensitivities just a bunch of baloney then, right? The mainstream media doesn't care to report any of that to you, so we will.